Hi, this short video will uh, illustrate how to apply for the government of People's Republic of Bangladesh for no visa and visa uh, entry application in different classes. Uh, make sure you go to your Google and search for the High Commission of uh, uh, Bangladesh located in Ottawa here uh, by searching uh, HTTPS colon backslash backslash uh, B D O O T dash Ottawa Mofa dot G O V dot B D. This will take you directly to the uh, web page for the High Commission of the People's Republic of Bangladesh in Ottawa. In this section, you will see uh, uh, lots of information about the mission and overall image of Bangladesh. Uh, for now, we have to go to the consular section so that we can uh, do an online application for the no visa required travel to Bangladesh. In the consular section, there is a, a page for no visa required to travel to Bangladesh. You just click on that. Then it will take you to the specific details for application of the NVR or no visa required uh, application as well as the visa application for uh, foreign nationals who are aimed to travel to Bangladesh. In this section you will see uh, the guidelines and uh, the required documents for uh, for your application on, on the nature of uh, uh, request you have for uh, entry for into, into Bangladesh. So in this section you should be able to see a page a link that says https www.visa.gov.pd which will take you to the uh, website or web page that enables you to fill the online application for visa or no visa required application. By, by just clicking into the link, it will take you to the machine readable uh, <coughs> application, uh, machine readable visa application uh, under the Department of Immigration and Passport in the Government of Bangladesh. Uh, it's better always to read all the articles uh, so that you can learn the uh, process and required information to go through all of your application. And this page uh, you find an information that uh, uh, the steps you have to go through so all you have to do is to agree on the information provided above by just clicking the checkbox here and click the next button here so uh, in this case to make your visa or no visa online application it is a mandatory to have an, a valid email address for your application so that uh, the system can check uh, the, the, the security of your application and at the same time if you by any means um, stop the application process and go back uh, where uh, maybe to your work or school or wherever you go, you go there and come back and you can continue uh, filling the information required by just uh, uh, using the information you will get once you have started uh, filling the application uh, through on your email. So for that reason, you need to have a valid email address. So someone, for example, let's put a, a, an email address here, someone at someone Dot com and we're gonna confirm that someone at someone.com and make sure you put the uh, security code shown on the image uh, that you will find on your screen during your online application in my case I'll put 8 Z 9 N D so I'll click the next button here so you will have a personal information page here so that you can print it out uh, your uh, personal information for your online visa or no visa application. So your current location should be in Canada here. So I'll choose the Canada here and I'll try to make it fast as much as possible to make the, this video very short. Uh, first name, let's say you're John and last name you are like uh, Smith. John Smith and first name, same time, uh, f f first name to be printed on the visa, same time John Smith, for example, J J. O H N and last name Smith. I can put Smith here. 
so permanent address should be the address you will stay or you have you might have an address in bangladesh or you might have a place to stay there so make sure you provide your permanent uh, address in bangladesh in the section provided here so i can put uh, road number road number 10 uh, section 5 uh, dhaka police station uh, dhaka and uh, post office dhaka we can put this uh, make sure you put all the of your permanent charges including the road section uh, street number uh, the post office uh, nearby police station in the district make sure you provide all those information in the permanent address section provided here so it's mandatory also to put your contact information in bangladesh such as your cell phone number home phone number or any other means that the government of bangladesh can communicate with you for um, some other process uh, just in case so put a number that you have or it could be your family members number you can provide a valid Bangladeshi phone number so address in Bangladesh will be the same as uh, the permanent address you have done so you can copy and paste again here and contact number in Bangladesh also can be the same uh, date of birth you can put date of birth here and uh, sex mail place of birth maybe Dhaka and country of birth is going to be in Bangladesh if you're born in Bangladesh and if, or if you're born in Canada you can put in Canada so in this case uh, present nationality maybe you're Canadian so I can put Canadian here CA nationality at birth Bangladeshi occupation maybe you can put others here if you don't find your occupation on the pre-listed uh, section in here so you can put other and maybe you could be a self-employed marital status married or single doesn't matter and organization you can say others and again self-employed so once you finish this the personal information page you can go for the next page uh, if you have a digital uh, image you can choose a file here then put the dig digital image on this section if you don't have a digital uh, picture you can uh, do the whole process and print out the application then after you can put your picture attached to the paper that's fine with us either of these uh, two ways are possible so we'll click next here type of visa if you are requesting for no, no visa required you can click no visa if you are uh, looking for a new, a new visa application as a foreign national you can uh, click the no visa application the process is all the same except the documents of uh, supporting documents you have to provide to validate your uh, to to support your application during uh, the process that happens in the Bangladesh High Commission in Ottawa let's say that we're going for no visa required application I go save and next so uh, oh, you'll see this page coming up in, on, on the screen that says your uh, logo and application ID is this and a password, temporary password here. So it's always to take uh, a snapshot of this information or take a picture of it because later on if you want to uh, stop the, this process and go back somewhere else and come back if you want to continue the online application process you can use your logon application and password to continue from wherever you stopped uh, doing the application process so i will take this picture through my cell phone here then i'll click uh, okay if you have a passport for sure you will and put your uh, canadian passport number here so that uh, uh, you can send your passport together with your application here and the passport type you have ordinary passport type and passport place of issue is going to be in maybe in canada and date of issue maybe some date and date of expiry here so have you visited bangladesh previously let's say no here 
and so you can continue to the next section without filling this because you don't have any history of traveling to Bangladesh previously if you say yes make sure you f fill this all information down here because a date of date of last visit or last visit number last visa issue date you can provide all this information from your previous no visa required so in this case let's say you have never been in Bangladesh uh, before so seven next just want to mention something here sometimes the uh, the loading here takes some time so it's always better to be very patient because we have so many applicants all over the world through one uh, platform in the visa uh, uh, department in the immigration and passport office so it's always it's always recommended to be very patient when you fill this application the next step will be part four for the payment information for your visa or no visa required application uh, keep in mind that the mission will not accept any personal checks or a, a cash payment and the application process is going through by uh, a bank draft or money order prepared from your uh, local branches and submitted to the uh to the, to the high commission office together with your uh, uh supporting documents and other materials so make sure that you provide your payment information let's say your bank is from td bank and you fill the td in the td section in the bank section and also in the branch you can provide a branch name where you uh, uh went for your uh order or bank draft has been uh, prepared the branch name of the bank you you went to to uh, prepare your bank draft or money order uh, at the same time in the bottom you have to fill the uh, information about your payment method which is going to be a bank draft so you can select a check uh, payment method in the drop down list and also make sure you provide in the section here your uh, bank order bank draft or money order uh, receipt number so that we can identify which one is your payment information and at the same time uh, you will have uh, a section that you have to fill for the amount of you the service you're looking for in this case if you are applying for a no visa required application uh, the payment will be 80 canadian dollars and they make sure you put 80 uh, if it is a visa application for single entry the service fee will be 100 canadian dollars and if you're looking for a multiple entry into bangladesh payment will be 200 canadian dollars make sure you put all this information in the section provided here when you finish all the required information in the payment information section you can click save and next button to go to the next page in the next page you will find a no visa required information uh, section where you uh, fill your uh, father's name mother's name spouse's name and so forth so in this section i have uh, used uh, father name as f1 mother name as m1 and spouse's name as the uh, s1 and make sure you also provide your date of arrival in bangladesh based on your travel schedule and the type of visa you are looking for should be mentioned there if it is a uh, no visa no visa if it is visa visa so you have to mention all this uh, information type of visa you are looking for uh, once you've finished all this information you don't have to put any other um, uh, information except you have to mention your reason to travel to bangladesh from the drop down list is mentioned there if you don't have uh, an information there you can click the other and uh, specify your reason to travel to Bangladesh the same way uh, it is indicated in this video when you finish you can click save and next to go to the next section 
In this section, you will have in Bangladesh visa office information section in part six. All you have to do is you can select the visa office. You are sending your application, which is going to be Canada. So select Canada and click save and next. The next page will be uh, the part seven, which is going to be the last information we have to fill in in the online application, which is the document checklist. So make sure you check check mark the list of supporting documents you are going to send to the mission uh, so that we can easily uh, identify which documents are being sent to our office and then you can click the uh, save and next button if you don't have any other documents you want to provide once you've finished all these processes the last page you will see will be a summary of your uh, information you have provided in in those all uh, sections or parts and in the bottom you will see a check box which you have to uh, mark that you are agreeing on the information you have provided before you go to the next section uh, all you have to do after this is print this page uh, by just right clicking on it and uh, printing uh, the whole the whole the, the all provided information and make sure you attach your picture on it and also provide your supporting documents uh, picture money order uh, and return envelope which are all listed in the Bangladesh High Commission website in the consular section you'll find all uh, supporting documents you have to provide together with your paper printout so make sure you write the uh, application number that you have taken a picture on the top of this application so that when the mission receive your application they can open your specific file and uh, continue the process of the visa application so once again make sure you write the uh, uh, application number that you have taken a picture earlier or write it on the top of the application so that we can continue the process of your application so make sure you check the box underneath and click save and next this is the short video about uh, how to proceed with the online application for visa and no visa section we hope this will a little bit demonstrate the difficulties that you might have during your application to the uh, visa and no visa required application